Hello everyone and welcome to Everything Star Wars. I'm your host, Rob. If you're here for the first time, hit that notification bell, hit that subscribe button so I can continue to give you everything that's Star Wars. How you doing? I'm here today in Miami. Take a look at this view. Isn't it beautiful? It's the last day of my vacation. I haven't done any videos. I had no Wi-Fi, but we're going to do one today. We're going to talk today about Star Wars Resistance, the Aces. That's right. It's the third video that's been released. And so I covered the other two. If you missed the other two about Star Wars, well, actually, I covered three. If you missed the other three Star Wars Resistance videos, check them out in the description down below so you can catch up on it. Or you could always go to the playlist on my channel. Thank you for all the people who have subscribed and who are viewing this. I love you all. I appreciate you very, very much. So, Star Wars Resistance the Aces came out, the trailer, and I thought that this was probably the best of the three videos that they, uh, the three trailers that they showed. Uh, again, Dave Filoni doesn't have a hat, which is very shocking. How could Dave Filoni not have a hat? I'm wearing a hat, but anyway, I don't always wear a hat. But Dave Filoni not wearing a hat is kind of Wow, unusual to me. So, it talks about the aces. Now, the aces are the people who are flying the planes. These are the best fighter pilots. Gave, the first trailer just gave you uh, what was it about, which we really guess we didn't really get much from it. That's why so many people couldn't stand it. Like, what is this? The second video came out. They talked more about the mechanics. You know, Team Fireball. These are the guys who are helping run the planes. You know, running the fighters. You know. And this one is more about the pilots. There's five pilots. Uh, they're the best pilots on the base. The base looks like an oil rig, if you ask me, personally. It, it feels like I'm out in the middle of the ocean in an oil rig, and they're defending it. Now, I don't know why they have to defend this base. Uh, that isn't clarified. And why the First Order would even attack something. Uh, it doesn't have any value to them. Uh, it doesn't specify that. And we don't know that. You know, and that's what I don't understand. Like, why is this base so important? Why does the First Order even have to attack them? So how do they know about them? Why are they there? I don't have a clue about any of that. So, they're there to protect the base, basically. And if they're not there to protect it, then they're just racing. They're racing for the fun of it. They're racing for money. They're racing to prove who the best pilot of all of them are. So, we're going to introduce some of the pilots today. Not all of them, but some of them. Uh, they're supposed to be the best. This one is Tara Doza, and uh, her and Taz, Taz is the main pilot, he's the, he's the one working on the Paul Darren, he's supposed to be the spy, which I covered that in a previous video, and basically a really good friend, she's good hearted, she loves everybody, and she's a really good fighter pilot, remember they all are very good fighter, fighter pilots, and I think she tells Taz that most people who fly against me don't, you know, don't make it, we'll see if you can do it, you know, like she's teasing him I guess, you know. Don't know how good she is, but she's very good pilot. Uh, then we have uh, Hype Faison, paid by Donald Faison. They actually took his last name and made him part of the character. Uh, he's the best pilot on the platform, the best. And uh, he was pretty excited to do this role. And because you can see this whole entire trailer, by the way, in the description down below. We also have Griff. Now Griff, I, that's the character I really like. Now Griff is an imperial, ex-imperial TIE fighter pilot. No one wants to mess with him. He's a cranky old man. Griff, basically, he's looking for that one last battle. That he like his equipment is old. He has a modified Tie Fighter, and it's really, really cool. I think he, to me, is my favorite of the characters because he's no nonsense. He's just, you know, it just like he reminds me of just a kick-ass person. Like he's not gonna take anybody's crap. No one wants to mess with him. No one deals with him. He's alone. He's the true definition of what a rebel is. You know, just. Rebel is a loner, you know, and he's just that. He's just like, listen, don't mess with me. Don't mess with me. I'm here to do what I got to do. The last of the characters we learn about is Farrah Ferris. I know she says in the video, you check it out. She's also kind of like Griff, just a female version. She's icy cold, wants to get her job done, and and that's it. That's that's four characters we introduced. There's one more character. They don't really go too much detail about him. It's just it's like an evil Knievel kind of person. A lot of people who are young won't understand what that means. Evil Knievel was a guy back in the day when I was born who used to be like a stunt racer. Uh, he would take a motorcycle and do all these stunts like jump off of cars and trailers and stuff like that, do 360s in the air with a motorcycle. And that's what this guy's kind of like, but he always winds up crashing the, the, the fighter plane. So that's all I know about him. I don't know who plays him or anything more than that. 
I still don't know why they're at this platform. I still don't know why it's important to protect this platform. I still, I, I don't get it. I mean, you could say, oh, it's a base, it's a base in the middle of the ocean. Okay, why is it in the middle of the ocean? Why do they have to make a base in the ocean? Why don't they make the base more hidden? I, I don't, kind of don't grab that. So, uh, I felt this was the best of the three trailers. Definitely one of the best. Um, it has hope, it has hope. This gave me more hope towards it. it, made me a little interested in it, which the other two videos wasn't really interested in, but they're introducing the characters now, which is good. The planes look nice, I'm not sure about the art, I'm kind of iffy about the art. And again, it is geared towards kids. I'm not like super excited that, oh my god, I gotta watch this, but you know, dude, I have a Star Wars channel and I cover everything Star Wars, I do want to cover it, and I'll, I'll give it a chance, you know, I'm not gonna pass too much the, the judgment on it, I did not like the first one. I wasn't thrilled with it at all. The second one was okay, but again, it still didn't grab me. There's a lot of dislikes for this, but we'll see. This one had less dislikes that I saw, but we'll see. I mean, again, I'm gonna pass judgment once it's out there. It, it doesn't spark my interest like the Clone Wars will. The Clone Wars is more ma for a mature audience, but we'll see. This goes, you know, it's more for the new generation. We'll see. And that's all I can tell you. That's how I feel. Anyway. Again, I hope you uh, give me a like, hit that subscribe, that notification bell. I hope everybody's well out there. And what do you think of Star Wars Resistance? Are you interested? Do you think that putting it on 10 o'clock for a kid show is a good idea? Now, keep this in mind. No one has gone over this. The next day is Columbus Day. Schools should be closed on Columbus Day, which means that the 10 o'clock time slot shouldn't really affect many kids. It should be, it should be like a Saturday to them because Monday is not, it shouldn't be a school day. At least here in the States it shouldn't be. I know I'm off for my job. And so, I don't know, but if it's a permanent 10 o'clock time slot, that's definitely going to be a problem. I could put a kid's show on for 10 o'clock permanently. If it's just for this one episode, okay, I can get it because the next day's a holiday, but not permanently. You can't do this permanently. You got to, if it's a kid's show, put it on at 7. You know, it's a good time for kids. They got school the next day, you know. They got to go to bed early. Come on, man. What are you guys thinking? What's wrong with you? Now, it's good that they're putting out trailers little by little by little. It's good that they're introducing the characters. They're giving us more of a feel for it. And the animation, again, I think that the faces of the characters are crazy. Like, I don't know. I just don't like that. I don't like that. I, you know, I want to see more realistic. You know, the clone. that's why the Clone Wars is so interesting. It's more realistic. You see really in depth. Anyway, this is Rob from Everything Star Wars here in Miami. It's my last day here in Miami. Love the view here. Ah. <sighs> I can't believe I have to go back. But all good things come to an end, right? Anyway, thanks for subscribing. Let me know how you feel in the comment section below. Check out the other the other videos in the description below. Check my playlists on my uh, channel. And I'll see you guys in my next video. Take care, everyone. Thanks for being so patient. I really appreciate all the love and you know the advice and the kindness. You could email me, hit me on Twitter, whatever you want to do. I'm here. To share everything Star Wars with you. Take care, everyone. See you soon. I got a lot of content for you. My daughter wants to give a little message about my channel. Go ahead, tell them about my channel. Subscribe to Daddy's channel. Thank you. <laughs>